Hello, welcome to my hobby table, and today we are going to take a look at HP 96 thermal imaging camera that HSF tools have sent me free of charge. Let's open the box and see what we have inside. Currently, you can purchase this device on Amazon, which is, after all discounts, is priced around 200 US dollars. So, into the box we have a manual, which is actually pretty nice to have, some calibration certificate, and thank you card. The camera itself. Oh, I don't know what has happened here. The box has a little bit of damage. Let's get rid of that. USB-C cable and the strap. The device comes with some pouch, so you can store the device itself. It's actually a pretty bulky unit, considering the size of the screen. And let's take a look at the physical features of the device. We have strap attachment point, and strap is included. You have two buttons. One is for power and another one for image capture. The rest of the device is controlled by 3.5 inch touchscreen. We have tripod mount, microphone holes and very nice to see USB-C port. I have tried and charged the device with various USB-C chargers and cables that I have around my house. Those all are working perfectly fine considering the fact that this manufacturer alarms not to use third-party USB-C cables and recommends to use one that included into the box. Nice to see LED light, thermal imaging camera and visual camera. The rest is just rugged body. Let's power up the device and talk about specifications. The device is pretty bulky, and here is the size compared to my iPhone 14 Pro. It's very similar in size, touch bigger, touch thicker. My iPhone is in the case. If we're using a ruler, here is the size. And it's about an inch thick if we take in consideration camera. Device has infrared sensor with 96 by 96 pixels native resolution and up to 25 Hz refresh rate. But it's super resolution mode, which upscales sensor resolution to 240 by 240, does pretty good job and significantly enhances the image quality. Manufacturer claims high level of temperature accuracy and we are going to take a look at the results later into this video. Right next to thermal camera, we can find visual camera with resolution of 480p, which allows you to get high clarity image by merging thermal imaging camera with visual camera, though I wouldn't expect much from 480p image resolution. Tool measuring range is between minus 4 and 662 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 20 to 350 degrees Celsius. 3.5 inch LCD touchscreen with resolution of 320 by 240 can make things a bit annoying as it is not as responsive as most people used to current days. But it does the job and considering the price it's good enough. So I've been touching the screen itself and feels like a glass, like a premium material. And then I start looking closer and I notice that screen has some kind of screen protector on top of it. Good idea. Very nice that you don't have a plastic screen that you scratch. But you can see fingerprints all over the display. The device has 4GB of onboard EMC flash memory, which can store around 30,000 standard thermal images and about 20 hours of MP4 videos. Unfortunately, there is no way to connect external storage and we can only hope that the manufacturer used good quality EMC storage that will last longer. I personally buy a lot of shady devices from AliExpress and you almost never get documentation. But in the case of this product, we have a very well written user manual, which is easy to understand. It is a huge plus from me. Also, the manual can always be downloaded from the manufacturer website, at least while the website is live. According to the documentation, this device is made in Vietnam and has a built-in 3.8 volt 2100 milliamp lithium ion battery which should provide you with 4 hours of battery life based on manufacturer claims. The documentation also states that the battery is certified by UL2054 standard, but as I don't really have access to the actual certificates, 
I take such claims with a grain of salt. As you remember, the camera has built-in flashlight and a well-rugged body with an IP54 rating that should keep basic dust or small water splashes from damaging the device, but definitely wants to stain against water submersion, so keep that in mind while using this tool in extreme work conditions. Overall assembly quality of the device is pretty good, very sad that USB-C port doesn't have any cover. Due to fully enclosed nature of the device, there is no easy access to the battery. If the battery dies, there is no simple way to replace it without potentially damaging the device. I've tried to open the device to see maybe I can get an opening, but it seems like the whole thing is glued together and I'm gonna just destroy the camera if I will keep going which I don't really want. So two screws here, two screws here, and you just slowly pry it all the way through, starting from here, there's two latches. With a computer, this device can work as external USB camera, which is a very cool feature and I haven't seen such functionality in even more expensive thermal cameras. With Windows 11, there is no need for any kind of drivers, you just plug it in and start the camera up. The only thing you need to do is to pick proper resolution for the device and now you have access to the thermal video feed. Let's take a look at some of the measurements and I will try to include videos from the camera. I think it makes sense for us to include the way microphone sounds. Here's the quality of the video with merged image where you have visual camera and infrared camera working together. I'd say quality is pretty good. On the screen it's probably not going to look as good as on actual device because device has smaller screen itself. The soldering iron is at 380 degrees right now, so I'm not sure about the accuracy. It's an automatic mode. Let's see what's the temperature of the body. Uh, 35.4 is the maximum. It's actually pretty good. I assume I'm about 36 something. So higher the temperature, lower the accuracy, like in other cameras. Okay, we have a little bit of ice right here in the cup, and I'm going to pour hot water into the cup right now. With is boiling water. To summarize, over the years I have tried a lot of cheap devices from unknown manufacturers and I can say for a fact that this camera has a touch of good engineering. The functionality and user interface are well made and it seems to me that people who have made this thermal camera spend some time polishing the device. It is hard to hide the fact that this is one of the cheapest handheld thermal cameras on the market in such form factor. In this price range you will have to cut corners. Using the device, for last few days I got the feeling that in this specific case engineers have cut those corners in the proper places and if over time I find new issues I will definitely pin them to the comment section under the video. I hope I have described the device well enough for you to make an informed decision. Links will be in the description. See you in the next one. Bye bye.